this is the halfway point on what I'm calling the ocean box. It is supposed to resemble a boat, well more so as I get towards the detailing. Right now I'm just finishing up hollowing it out. As you can see, I've got quite a bit hollowed out. So almost six inches deep. That's what Leslie asked for. The lid will fit on top and uh, it will be shaped like a tarpaulin stretched across a lifeboat or something. On the lid will be uh, a sailboat sailing on a calm ocean headed towards the sunset. There were no tools 200 years ago to do this kind of thing other than what I'm doing right now. What I'm peeling off is no bigger than a shaving from a pencil sharpener that you used back when you were in elementary school. I get it fairly level and flat. I will take a sanding block and smooth it out best I can. It will not be flat like a simple board bottom. this box is going to be for it's not going to cause any problem This is the ocean box. I'm going to have a hinge on it and I'll do some more sanding on the inside. sanding to do but pretty much the finished carving part anyhow. I'll get back to you. Keep watching.
Okay, the ocean box is all but finished. I have six layers of lacquer on the outside, actually seven layers on the lid. I don't know if you can tell the depth of the lid or not with the sailboat being in carved in relief. I still have a couple coats to put on the inside of the box to seal it and on the inside of the lid. This is going to be used as an urn or a box for Leslie's father's ashes. The story was told to me that he loved to get in his little sailboat and go out in the Atlantic Ocean out of the northeast coast and just relax. So this is her tribute to her father. The grain of the wood is up and down. What I did is took a piece of log uh, from a camphor tree and I hollowed it out from the top down. The reason I did this is I didn't want it to crack lengthwise like a regular piece of lumber. This way the sides are all strong. There's no end grain except on the very bottom. It's hollowed out. The lid is like a normal piece of lumber with the grain going this way. I will reinforce the bottom with another couple layers of lacquer but I made it as strong as I possibly can for the purpose. This hinge will be applied to the back and it will open like this and it will have a hasp here in the front to keep it shut. Make sure it stays locked. I hope Leslie and her mom likes it. It's a little different than what they had in mind but they have informed me that they really like the idea. I'm glad I can make somebody happy. Check out Shorty's Old World Woodshop dot com